What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to Train Sim World and today we are in New York. Let me just unlock these doors for these passengers. And we're running from New Rochelle where we are now uh, via New York... Uh, what's the big station called? Union Station. No, that's not right. New York Penn, that's it. <laughs> really should have prepared for that uh, statement. Anyway, to Newark, I think. Newark Liberty, yeah, that's the one. And uh, we're in this, the ACS 64. It's electric and it's Amtrak, that's pretty much all I know. God, I hate this camera view sometimes. Uh, we're just waiting for the passengers to load now and we'll be off. Um, we're in the snow today, because why not? Uh, I turned the cab light off just so you guys can see clearly out the window. Uh, it is snowing, as I said, fairly heavy as well, so... We do have to have the windscreen wipers on, because it will build up on the windscreen, I found that out the hard way. And uh, passengers are loaded, so we need to lock the doors, and we are good to go. What's our first stop? Is it going to tell us? New York Penn. Uh, no, I need to cut the throttle and turn the brakes off. There you go, brakes are released, we're in forward, let's go. Let's go straight up to full throttle. Yeah. So yeah, we're on uh, we're in New York State, we're in New York City, and I must say I've driven this route before. I am a little disappointed. Not with the implementation. They've they've done a really good job of that. The thing that disappoints me a little bit is the route itself in real life. Like it's in New York, for God's sake. That's like the most iconic city in the world. And they chose to bury the tracks in a tunnel so you can't see anything. Which I know why they did it, I get it, it's because the land that the station was sat on, bear in mind this is the biggest station by area in the world, and the land they were sat on was worth literally millions. So they said, okay, let's bury the station and sell the land, and that's exactly what they did. And then they stuck two tunnels coming out of either end for the trains to get to and from, which makes sense, but I'm still not really happy with that because you don't get to see anything. I think they could have done a better job of that. Right, so we don't expect to go to 100. I doubt we're going to reach that. Come on. The anticipation for the speed limit going up is so... There you go. It's because you might speed, especially when you're on the limit. It's like, am I going to speed? Am I going to... Is it going to go up in time? But yeah, the, the route itself... <sighs> I don't, they could have. It could have been a nicer route. This could have been an iconic train journey, but it just isn't. All right, we've got an 80 limit coming up, so we're probably not going to reach that 100 mile an hour limit. Again, you'll have to excuse my voice. I've still got man flu. I'm dying of it. Um, but yeah, I. Th it is snowing. I guess that's why the highway's pretty empty down there. Yeah, I feel that they could have done better with this route. Like, not, not dovetail games, as I said, the, the route itself is implemented perfectly, but it just, it could have been a much better route, if that makes sense. Right, I'm going to stop accelerating so hard, and hopefully we'll clear this 100 mile an hour board by the time we hit 80 miles an hour, which would be nice. There we go. We are going over Hellgate Bridge, which is <laughs> iconic. But I would argue a little bit ridiculous. Like, it is so high off the ground that it's... It, I mean, at least you get a nice view from there. But yeah, the bridge itself is, like, really high off the ground. Hey, we got another train coming along here. Can I get a good view? Nope. Eh, that wasn't bad. I was hoping to get, like, a... Uh, two trains meet sort of view, but meh. Will we hit 100? This is going to be close, because I'm going to have to start breaking for that 45 limit now. 99. Oh, there it is. 100 miles per hour. Uh, I'm going to have to brake pretty hard to hit this speed limit. 92. 92 sounds good to me. Ooh, I think I may have overdone it, trying to hit the 100. I don't know. No, no, we pulled it off. We overbraked a little bit by four, three miles per hour, but meh. That ain't bad. I think that was pretty good driving by me then. What 
One thing I will say, because you can drive freight trains on this route, but you can only do specific parts of the route. And I would like to take a, a freight train through New York Penn, that would be fun. But something Train Sim World is missing that every other simulator has. Like, in trains, you can literally build a route and put a train on there and choose every individual carriage on the train. That's amazing. Like, you can, you can build a train 20 miles long if you wanted, but that doesn't really work, I tried. And then in Train Simulator itself, like 2019, you can say, right, I want this train with this set of carriages on this route going from here to here. Which makes perfect sense, because that's pretty much what you want to do on a simulator. I think that this one, personally, is erring too much on the side of trying to be a realistic simulator, because, yeah, it's great, it's realistic, but there are some things that I miss from other simulators. Like, um, on here it's pick your train and pick your route. That's it. So you say, right, I want to play on CSX Heavy Hall. Okay, what train do you want? And it'll give you a list of three trains. I want that one. And then it'll just say, it'll give you a real life service, which I love that feature. Oh, we're gonna speed. But I would just, I'd like to see it where you can mess about a bit more, I guess. Where you can say, like, I, I love that service option, as I said. I, I'd love to see that kept in here. But I also think that they need to have an option where you can just say, you know what? I want to mess around today. I want to take this train and put it on this ridiculous route. Because that's fun. It's, yeah, it's not realistic. You'd never take a freight train through New York Penn. But it's fun, and that is something I feel is missing from Train Sim World that I would like to see implemented. You need a bit more control. You, it'd be nice to just say, I want to drive an intermodal train on the Great Western Main Line. Never happen, but it's fun to do. You, you can push your boundaries. Yeah, it'd probably be too big, and you'd probably, even if it implemented in such a way that if the train was too big for the route it would hit bridges and just derail or fail the scenario. That's another thing I'd like to see. If you go too fast on here and derail, then all that really happens is it pops up a message saying you've derailed. Scenario finished. I think it'd be pretty sick to see an actual derailment. I know I'm asking a lot and these are minor things, but at the end of the day, it's 2019 and some other games like flight simulators are so in-depth and so realistic in some of the things you can do but then they also have that element of you can just mess around if you want and I think that's missing from this game that overall I love this game as I said but there are some things I'd like to see implemented and I also I want to say something else I'm sorry for a lot of my videos on train simulators are just sat there like that. that. I don't know why, that's just my personal preference, that's how I drive trains. I guess it's more realistic, but a lot of people do have to, do like to be outside the train looking around like this. I'm going to try start getting a good balance, but when I'm talking my brain just defaults to what it knows, and what it knows is clearly inside the cab. Right, we've got to be at New York Penn in 16 minutes, it's 8.6... So we've got to average 30. That doesn't sound too hard. Yeah, 16 minutes, 8.5 miles. So we've got to average, yeah, about 30 miles an hour. And considering... Oh, I'm breaking the speed limit. Considering we're doing like 70 and everything now, that shouldn't be too... Oh, as I say, that speed limit drops down to 55. Uh, I really should have waited for the back of the train to pass that speed board then. And I need to slow down for this 55 limit. No, nope, nowhere near enough. I tried to use the uh, engine brake. And I got confused then, I managed to confuse myself. Yeah, this little number here in the corner below the speed. That is what level of throttle I'm giving. If that goes yellow, 
that means I'm basically going reverse throttle. <laughs> I'm using the engine brake to slow us down. That's what that means. In case any of you didn't know or were wondering. So yes, you can go negative on the throttle in a train. Okay, this is a lot of bridges. I'm going first person again. Yeah, I thought it'd be different to have some snow. Why not? And then, during winter... Oh, God. My game froze then. During winter, you do get a lot of snow in New York. Apparently. Don't know, I've never been. So, this seemed like the appropriate route to have it. Let's just slow down a little bit. Come on, slow down. One mile out, come on! There you go. Try it. God damn it. Use the actual brake, because the engine brake's frickin' useless. No, release the brake. God damn it. We've got a 40 limit coming up, and we're coming up to Hell's Gate Bridge. This is the bridge I was telling you about. It's, I mean, huge. Like, genuinely, this bridge is huge. Especially when you consider the amount of run-up to the bridge. Like, you can see it over there. That's it. But because it's so high, the train has to have its own little bridge just to run up to it. Go we're speeding too much. Ah, slow. Be slow. I can hear another train. Oh, it's below us there. You can see it down there. That's cool. The AI traffic, there's not much of it, but when there is some, it is pretty cool to see. I don't even know where that's coming from. Uh, yeah, where is that coming from? Can we go that way? Yeah, you can. You can go to that yard. I don't really know what's there, but you can. Uh, right. Exit the map. I've got to do that then. And speed up to 50. Going uphill very steep now, because of the bridge. But yeah, that is a pretty iconic bridge right there. New York has a lot of, like, big famous bridges, but then I suppose it's a big famous city, so you got to live up to your name, right? Right, now I need to find a throttle notch to balance my speed. That seems good. Four. It doesn't look like I'm accelerating. I'm doing 48, so that leaves a little bit of room for error. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, there's another... I think that's the Williamsburg Bridge. Don't quote me on that. That uh, bridge next to us, to the right there. Is it Williamsburg? I think it is. I'm not really sure. As I say, I don't know New York too well. Just going to speed up a little bit. Try throttle notch 5 to balance our speed. It's about to level out now, anyway. How far are we? Four miles. But yeah, I, if I remember right, this route actually by here is leaving Manhattan. So we were in Manhattan there, or New York. We're now leaving to go to um, New... No, is it New Jersey? Or Long Island, I think it is. And then the train goes down to the ground level again after this bridge. And then it goes under a tunnel back into Manhattan because it's cheaper to do that and sell the land on top. Which again makes sense, but it's not very nice if you're a commuter. All right, this is where we're going to start picking up speed real fast. Going downhill pretty steep right now, but we do have a 60 limit, so that's fine. Yeah, this is the uh, Hell's Gate Bridge. Hell Gate Bridge, something like that. Shows how high up we are. Look at the buildings down there. Those are like two, three story buildings. And we're just dwarfing them. That really needs to be improved. There's, it's like there's no life in the city. Yeah, there's lights on and parked cars. But no one seems to be driving around. No one seems to be walking to the shop. It's just everyone, like, yeah, it's snowing, but still, it's like everyone ever is in their house. No one's out in that car park having a snowball fight. 
Or even if cars were just driving on the highway. Highways are not that... No, that's not even a highway. Is that, is that a highway or a train track? No, that is a highway. Highways are just not that dead. Look at that street. Nothing. Nothing. It's like there's no AI traffic. Like, in Train Sim 19, there is AI traffic. That's by the same company, so they know how to do it. They just haven't. Like, there really is no traffic in this game. Like, yeah, it's a bit buggy in Train Sim 19. For example, multiple times I've had to put the emergency brake on because I've hit a car at a railroad crossing. But I'd rather deal with that or just imagine it didn't happen than not have any traffic. Because it's like you're living in a ghost town, which is just not fun, right? I need to slow down a little bit. Come on, two miles an hour. Just give me a little bit of braking. There you go. Perfecto. So, my question for you guys is, do any of you live in or around New York? State or city, either one. And would you recommend it? Because I've heard that real estate in, like, rent and things like that in New York are ridiculous. In fact, I was looking at before just for the hell of it. It was a list of the most expensive places in the world to live. I think New York was third. The most expensive place to live in the world when I read this list was a place called Mayfair, which is in London. And <laughs> we looked at, it was just a normal apartment, about the same size as the one I live in, but with two extra bedrooms. Mine's worth about £125,000, but I'm renting, not buying. This four bedroom apartment in Mayfair in London was worth £27.9 million, and that was the cheapest. 27.9. I saw one for rent up there for like business people who were staying in London and it was $40,000 per month. That's a thousand dollars a day. More than that actually. So <laughs> yeah, screw living anywhere like that. Why is why am I not getting power? I just noticed that. My reverse is out, that's why. There we go. Glad I noticed that. Right, we're about to enter a tunnel and start going downhill very steep. Uh, that is a massive yard. I didn't even notice that was there last time I played. I wonder what's in there. Well, clearly nothing at the moment, but you know what I mean. What do they keep in that yard? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments if you know what they keep in there. I reckon it's for these trains, like the New York... Maybe the New York Transit or something. Right, we're approaching the speed limit now, and as I said, we're starting to go downhill very quickly. To the point we're going to have to have our brakes on most of the time into the station now. While the tunnel dips down, about halfway along, it shoots back up at about, I think it's 2% gradient, which for a train, that's huge. So, we'll see when that happens. But, yeah, this is just a very long tunnel. And I'm going to have to maintain our speed. Which is always fun. I can't see anything. <laughs> well, that 15 limit you can see there. That is at the end of the tunnel. So this tunnel's is about 2.3 miles long. And then just past that, that's where we got to stop. As I said, it's genuinely just two single track tunnels at each end of the station that go in. And then we've got to make our way to uh, Newark Liberty Airport. I think we're coming up on the midpoint now. We're starting to level out. 0.6 gradient. Is it going to... Yep, yeah, now it's going uphill. Um, I'm going to try throttle notch 4. That might keep us at speed. I doubt it, though. And then when we're about half a mile out, I'm going to release the throttle and see if gravity can slow us down for that 15 limit. I don't know, though. That's... Mm. We will be going quite quick. <laughs> Throttle notch 4 is not even holding our speed. But I'm not going to bother speeding up, considering how much we got to slow down afterwards. I'm going to save energy. So yeah, we're about half a mile out now. I'm going to cut the throttle and just see what happens. I don't think we are going to slow down to 15. But I can see us getting below 30 in that time. 
Although saying that, I might have left it a little bit late. I don't know, never underestimate the power of gravity. <laughs> 500 yards. Ooh, no, I'm going to have to break. Breaking quite sharp. Come on. Ooh, this is going to be close. Can we do it? I reckon we will. Ha! Huh. I'm almost an expert at this. Come on, come on, 50. Yes! I'm a great driver. I'm an amazing train driver. That's not true. Right, we're now coming into the biggest station in the world. I did check uh, before I planned this route. I think it's 67 platforms. And my local station has four, so that says a lot. <laughs> 67 platforms. That's just like a crazy amount. I'm going to have to stay first person through this part because the outside view is not really fun. The camera just keeps jumping because these pillars everywhere. But yeah, it was a good idea, whoever thought of that. I know, let's bury the station and, s and sell the land around it to cover the cost. But still... I, I think the view would have been worth it. We're actually on time. 7.26. And it's now 7.25, call it. I reckon we can stop in a minute. <laughs> That's actually great. I am going to cut the, um, the video while we're loading with passengers, because that usually takes a while. But, yeah, I'm quite impressed with my train driving skill today. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything. You do have to slightly pass these markers, I've noticed, because it can be a bit buggy if you don't. Like, it won't let you open the door. That should be enough. In fact, I think I overdid that a little bit. But we're still on the station platform, so it's fine. And unlock the doors. Unlock left. Right, I'm going to cut the video. Where we lo yeah, that's, that's what I mean about the camera. It's just buggy as hell. Oh god. You know what that'll do. And I'll bring you back once the passengers are loaded. You can tell this is going to take a while. Look at the timer in the corner. <laughs> oh god. At this point I might as well go make dinner and come back. I might be done by then. If I had known it was going to take this long, I, I would have just went and made a coffee. And I've got to wait another 30 seconds because you know what, why not? I really would have went and made a coffee if I'd known it was going to take this long. Gosh darn it. Right, we've got 20 seconds. That That's bearable, at least. <laughs> like, I get that trains have to wait at the station, but... Oh my god. This is a real service. I guess the real train waits here for five minutes. Right, four seconds. Right, lock doors. Yeah. And good to go. Um. Uh, why? Why it no work? There it goes. I don't know why it does that. I think if the door's not shut or the brake's still applied or something, a circuit breaker's like, no, nah, can't apply power. Sorry, buddy. I don't know why, but it is kind of annoying. It's probably not smart to go full power out of a station at a 15 limit either. It's kind of like flooring a supercar in a car park. It's just not going to end well. Right, where next? Newark Penn. So that's our next stop. Not not Liberty, sorry. I said Liberty earlier. Yeah, it's Newark Penn. Um, 7.44. So, yeah, we got about 12, 13 minutes. We can do that. How far is it? Nine miles. Ooh, this one's going to be a bit tighter. We're going to have to do... We're going to have to stick to the speed limit a lot more, I think. But clearly it's doable, otherwise they wouldn't put that as the time limit. Right, we're coming up to the other tunnel at the other end of the station now. It's very dark, they need some lighting in here. I tell you what, if they pay me, New York, if you're watching, give me like 100 million quid, you pay for the materials, and I'll come and paint this by hand. I think that's a fair deal, I'll make it look really nice. I'm like a contemporary artist, basically. And that's my fear. Only a hundred million. Which for New York, that's like 20p. That's nothing. 
Right, coming up on a 60. Now, how am I speeding? Oh, because we're going downhill. <laughs> Lol. Probably should pay attention more. But yeah, it, it, they could have made this nicer with a lick of paint, I think. And going to be speeding again. 2%, that's a very steep gradient. Once the back of the train passes that speed board, though, I can just let it roll. And I probably won't even have to apply throttle. I think it'll just build up the speed for me. Right, we're probably going to pass the end now-ish, I'd say. Nope, apparently not. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, I'm just going to let it roll, see what it does. I reckon, I reckon we'll hit 60 by the bottom. That's how steep this tunnel is. I seriously reckon we'll hit 60 by the bottom of this tunnel. And then we got a 90 limit at the end, so that's good. So we're coming up 25 now. Yeah, I, I'm betting we can hit about 60 miles an hour by the time this tunnel levels out. That's how steep this time. I reckon we will. Not applying any power, just letting it roll. 32, we're halfway there. Ooh, will we do it? I thought it'd accelerate faster than this, I gotta be honest. 38. No, we didn't. Damn it, I'm wrong. That's annoying. We hit 40. Right, let's floor it then. And I can't apply power again. Why? Ah! What the hell? Apparently if it's not in... Oh, the reverser out, that's why. Yeah, but <laughs> I was gonna say, if you put in neutral, apparently the lights turn out. Turn off. That's weird. Another train just passed us. I love that. I can see the reflection of the light coming through the tunnel. <laughs> Seems legit. Yeah. It shows how steep it is. We're struggling to accelerate, and I'm at full power. Throttle Notch 5 is holding us actually pretty nicely. I judged that well. We're coming up on the 90 limit. I'm trying a new style of editing in this video. The one I did on Sandpatch Grade, the CSX video, I time-lapsed the bits where I wasn't really talking because, I'll be honest, it is hard to just talk continuously for her. I think that the raw footage for that video was about two hours long. It's kind of hard to talk just continuously and be interesting for two hours straight. On a live stream it's different because you can talk to people, but it is quite difficult. So to get around that, what I did was time-lapse parts of the video where I wasn't talking or th where the train was going particularly slow or whatever. Here, I'm just like winging it and anything which isn't particularly interesting or I don't have much to talk about, then I, um, I'm i editing out and I'm skipping forward with the video. Right, we can go outside view and we can go full throttle about now. Because I want to take advantage of this 90 limit. Oh yeah. What's the point in those lights there if they're never on? Can I turn them on? Nope. That's weird. Some form of container yard there. Yeah, around New York I would expect more AI traffic than this. But I'll be honest. There is the um, expansion pack for... What lights we got now? Uh, flashing green. Don't know what that means. I think it means we're changing track. Yeah, there's an expansion pack where you can do the Long Island Railroad with like the metro trains. I have been tempted to buy that. It's like £26. I don't know. I'm certainly thinking about it. I'm wondering if it links onto this though and expands this network as well, because I'm pretty sure they end up in the same station in New York Penn. So I think that could be interesting to uh, have a look at. Are we changing track? I don't know what that flashing green means. I don't like it. We're coming up on 90 now. Just let people in the station know I'm coming through. You see, this game, or train simulators in general, have a habit of just throwing junctions on you. They'll be like, ah, and you're changing track, and you're like, I didn't know we were, and we were speeding, ah! 
Or they don't mark every speed limit. That's another one they like to do. So you'll just be going along. Turn the bloody bell off. You'll be going along, and all, all of a sudden, God, we're speeding. Talking of speeding. All of a sudden, it'll just th throw a limit at you with no warning. Yeah, we're speeding quite a lot now. Here we go. And now we're under speed. That's good. And I can't accelerate again because the brake was on. That's such an annoying feature. It like, genuinely that's really annoying. Come on. After this bridge we got a 90 limit and we need to take advantage of that. Ah! That's why I don't use outside camera. Ah. Right, let's go, go, go. 90 miles an hour, come on. Yeah, outside camera needs to be improved in this game. Because objects make it go crazy sometimes. Right, let's go. We're not going to hit 90. God, why do they do that? They'll give you like a 40 limit, then a 100 limit, and then half a mile later a 40 limit again. It's like, there's no point accelerating. Like, I don't understand that logic, but we're going to have to start slowing again, down again. Like, seriously. Back down to 60. As I said, that was pretty pointless. Still flashing green signal. I just... I guess that means we're just clear or something. Okay, we're 2.3 miles out and we've got 3 minutes to do it. This... If we can average 60, which clearly we can't because there's a 45 limit coming up, we could do this, but i got a feeling we might be late to this one. Uh, which sucks. I don't like being late. Let's just try and stick as close to the speed limit as we can. Ah, oh, it's a mile out, so I thought it was right at the bottom of this ramp, but clearly not. Ah, no, I still... This is going to be tight. Hopefully this 45 limits just for like a tight corner or something that he just says, go 100. Why not? But I doubt that. Why are we so... Am I... I swear I'm pressing the button to release these brakes. They just like to be on. And now I can't get power again. I hate that. So I imagine that happening in your car. If you press the brake pedal, your accelerator doesn't work. No way, well, it would be worse the other way around if you're accelerating your brakes don't work. <laughs> but that's, that's... I get why they do it, but that's an annoying safety feature. Alright, we're going to have to slow down again now. 1.2 miles out, we got less than 2 minutes. I don't think we're doing this. I think we're going to be late into Newark Penn. I'm just cr trying to stick to the limit as closely as I can. That red's not for us, is it? No. That's the worst when you don't notice a red light. <laughs> just going along all of a sudden. Scenario filled, you're like, what? It doesn't happen often, because I usually pay attention to things like that. But in, like, Germany or the United States, where I don't understand the signals fully, it has been known to happen. The worst was um, the worst one I had recently. I was on, I was playing around on the Great Western Main Line, and all of a sudden, the light in front of me was red because it, well, it was a single amber, which means slow down. The next one's probably red, but I was behind the train, so I thought oh, I'll clear by the time I get there. Next thing I do, no, I'm doing 60 miles an hour, and there's a red light about 100 yards ahead, and I'm like, nope, not happening. Ooh, are we gonna do this in time? I don't think so, and we've got a 35 limit coming up. We're going to be late, but I think we'll be there within the minute, sort of thing. Although, saying that, 30 seconds to do 300 yards. If I can get my break in right, we can do this. Come on. I have faith. I have faith in my ability. Come on. Uh, no, five seconds. Uh, a few seconds late. That's not bad. Come on. And open the doors. Uh, and lock. Right. 
Well, I think we did quite well there. Look at the snow on the front of our train. That's pretty cool. There's no one getting on or off. Like, no one. So I was late for precisely no person. That's that's good. Uh, at least this one's loading and unloading a lot faster. Right, I believe now this train shall continue on along the Northeast Corridor to uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah, Washington, D.C. Oh, no. Oh, i got to keep going. That I wasn't expecting. Let's go. No, brakes are on. God. This is wasting time. Go. Full thrall, I don't care. Because I'm a rebel. We're going to full throttle up to this 35 limit. Two and a half miles in five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, three and a half minutes. God, oh, that's not good. I assumed we'd have more time than that. But again, if it's scheduled, it must be doable. That's my logic. <laughs> what? No, that must be true, right? If they scheduled it to, be, to do it in real life, then it must be possible. But then equally, I'm not a professional train driver. <laughs> so... Swings and roundabouts, I guess. It's not that far. Oh, 70 limit, that'll help out. Yeah, it's not that far. So... Worst comes to worst, we'll only be a bit late. Ah, uh, accelerated too early. That's not good. God damn it, I'm speeding. There we go. No. Rise! There it goes. Doesn't help that it's snow. I don't think it takes that into account, the snow, on the schedule. But it does actually affect brakes. I was doing uh, CSX down the gradient in the snow, and I lost control of my train. I was full brakes, and the train just slid out from under me. I was hitting 70 in a 25 zone, just because I couldn't stop. It was too slippery, the rails. The more you brake, the more you slid. I might actually retackle that, because I was quite fun struggling down that hill in the snow with an intermodal train weighing a few thousand tons behind me. Uh, we got a minute and a half. Doable, yes. Can I do it? Eh, probably not. <laughs> Come on. Oh, flashing orange. That does mean I'm changing track, I think. I'm pretty sure that does. Am I changing track? I think... Yay, nay? Yes, I am. So that's what the 40 limit was for. Ninety limit, but we got no chance of achieving that. Come on, speed limit, up you go. No. Yeah, there it goes. I want to do this. I don't think we can though. We got less than a minute. Nah, this is, it's not happening. I did have hope in my heart that we could do this, but I don't. I we we can't. Not nah. Maybe like the world's best train driver who, kn who knows exactly when to brake, but not me. So, my logic is it's pointless trying to break the limit and catch up if we're going to be late anyway and risk overshooting the platform. So I am just going to drive normally, I'm going to start braking here. I think we might overshoot the platform anyway. <laughs> yeah, we totally are. Oh, I'm no good at this. My god, the brakes are good on this thing. Let's go minimum application. Or not. Uh, my brakes weren't working then. Help. Send help. And finally, unlock right. Nice place. So this is the airport. So I, we were going to the airport. Ah. So this is Newark Liberty Airport. So this is the end of our journey, I believe. I hope. Let's see. See, there's people walking around on the station. Why can't they have that on the street? Hey, it's the end of our service. 
Uh, I drove 32 miles in 50 minutes. That's not bad. Um, and I arrived everywhere on time. Well, hey! Yes. I guess it goes within that minute, not exact, not by 7.49. Right, that makes perfect sense. Do you tend to... I was early for that one, on time for those two. I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you come back for the next episode, and I... We'll see you then. I'm going to hop out my train and watch it go off. I will see you then. Have a good one, guys.